Hey guys, what's up? Well, if you're Meg Thee Stallion, you're having a really bad day. She did an interview with Miss Gail King and claimed she never had sex with Tory Lanez, and apparently that's not true. Meg actually ratted on herself. In her new documentary, she says she lied to Gail King. And now, even though he was convicted of shooting Meg Thee Stallion in the foot back in 2020, Tory Lanez may actually get acquitted of his crime because of Meg's whole messiness. It's a crazy story with lots of twists and turns, so if you're in the mood to sip some tea, I've got plenty to spill. Let's get into it. Shoot, why'd you ask me a fing Tory? That's not what this is about. Even if I was, I fucked this like once, maybe twice. You know, Gail King is just good at her job, so she pressed Meg Thee Stallion about whether she'd slept with Tory Lanez when she sat down to do an interview with her in 2022. Lanez says she did, and Meg straight up denied it. To be fair, Meg's sit down with Gail was supposed to be about the 2020 shooting incident, which we'll get into in a bit. But Gail was just out here doing the Lord's work and asking the questions we all wanted the answers to, and apparently it caught Meg off guard and she lied. In her new documentary, In Her Words, Meg admits that she lied to Gail King about sleeping with Lanes. She said, Yes, I lied to Gail King. First of all, I know that when he asked me about that, I thought we was gonna talk about the shooting. Why is he asking me about my Tory? That's not what this is about. Even if I was, I f***ed that man like once, maybe twice on a drunk night. You kept catching me out of my f***ing mind. Yes, bitch, I lied to Gail King. First of all, I know that bitch was even gonna ask me about that shit, but she's always gonna talk about the shooting. Why'd you ask me about f***ing Tory? That's not what this is about. Even if I was, I f***ed this nigga like once, maybe twice on a drunk night. Bitch, you kept catching me out of my f***ing mind. She also says in the documentary that even though she's not ashamed of the fact that she likes to have sex, she started second guessing how she talks about it because of media scrutiny. It, w it wouldn't have been a time where anybody would have asked me about somebody and I would have been like, you know, I would have been like, so, okay, yeah, I did that. Like, I like to, what about it? But the way, like, they have villainized me for being this type of person, it started to make me second guess myself. Honestly, a lot of people didn't believe the story she told Gail to begin with, but now that she's admitted lying to her, the whole internet is coming for her. Every hoe on earth blames her bad decisions on a drunk night. It's like in the handbook. I'd lie if I fucked a belligerent leprechaun who shot me too. She already admitted she did in court, so anyways. Still doesn't change that she got shot and he was still proven to be guilty. That changed nothing about the case because it was the state of California versus leprechaun. She's lying about this still. No one believes it was once or twice, lol. Meg, you went back to Kylie's house because you liked him and you were jealous. You were seeing each other for real. Y'all saying, I would have lied too, but in her situation, she shouldn't lie. When you plan on taking legal action against somebody, you can't lie about anything because it makes you less reliable. Hence why some people still think she's lying about the shooting. She brought this on herself. It's actually relevant because of stuff that came out as part of the investigation into the shooting incident. Back in 2020, Tory Lanez got charged with felony assault with a semi-automatic firearm, personal use of a firearm, and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle. The story that Meg Thee Stallion tells is that she, Lanez, his bodyguard, and one of her friends were all in his car on July 12, 2020, and they were all arguing. She got out of the vehicle, and she says he said, dance, dance, and shot at her feet. He allegedly threatened her to keep her mouth shut about the incident because he was still on probation too. Police are just killing everybody for no reason, and I'm thinking, I can't believe you even think I want to take some money. Like, you just shot me. She also says she had to be hospitalized and have surgery as a result of her wounds. There are reports from Lane's camp that say she hit him and that the whole thing happened because he was romantically linked to Kylie Jenner. During his hearing, a phone call between the other woman who was there during the incident and Lanes from jail was played where he apologized for something he said he did while he was drunk. And he yelled, how are you gonna tell me what I apologized for? He came out later and made a tweet that might have explained the apology. Good D had me fucking two best friends and I got caught. That's what I apologized for. It's sick how you spun it though. It's starting to sound more and more like the fight was over him messing with Kylie or at least wanting to. And that makes sense now that Meg has admitted to hooking up with him. That's actually not the first time she's admitted to lying in regard to the case. Apparently, she lied to the cops too. 
At first, she told him she'd cut her feet on glass. Then she backed up and said she said that because she was afraid of the police because she'd been in a vehicle with a black man who had a gun and didn't want them to shoot her. I didn't get cut by no glass, but let me tell you why they're saying that. When the police came because the neighbors called the police, the police cut. I'm scared. All this shit going on with the police, I didn't want to die. I didn't want the police to shoot me because there's a man with a gun in the car with me. Tori actually raised some good questions on his track, Money Over Fallouts. Gotta see a couple questions. How the fuck you get shot in your foot, don't hit no bones or tendons? Tory Lanez is currently serving a 10-year sentence, but that may be over soon. All these questions being raised about Meg's credibility are putting question marks all over her testimony. And now TMZ is reporting that Lanez is appealing a sentence because it includes previous false statements made by Megan. His attorney, Caesar McDowell, from the firm Unite the People, says the fact that Megan lied about her sexual relationship with Tori obviously makes her an unreliable witness. If someone lies in front of millions of people, how can you trust what they say any other time? That's honestly a good point, and it's going to be interesting to see what a judge thinks about that argument. Gail King has made a statement about Megan's admission. Apparently, people are hitting her up on social media and telling people that Meg called her a B. Hey, I'm just sitting here minding my own business. People are reaching out to me saying, hey, Gail, Megan Thee Stallion just called you a bitch. I know you're expecting me to, maybe you're thinking I have something negative to say. I do not. I have nothing but great, great love and respect for Megan Thee Stallion. It's honestly hilarious that people thought they were going to try to get Miss Gail King into some sort of beef with Megan Thee Stallion. I just couldn't even picture that. I mean, if she wanted to have words with her, I'm here for it. But it'd definitely catch me off guard. Meg admitting to doing the horizontal tango with Tory Lanez wasn't the only admission she made in her documentary. There were actually several reveals. She got candid about her momager Holly Thumb's 2019 death from brain cancer. Meg said she was in shambles when her mom was admitted to the hospital and she learned she had a brain tumor. They had to put her under. She was brain dead. So I stayed there every day, praying that she could shake back from it. I had to make the decision to pull the plug and she just passed the next day. She said that when her mom died, she lost her confidence and forgot who she was. And that she turned to her friend Kelsey Nicole Harris to sort of build a new sense of family. She considered Kelsey to be her best friend. And Kelsey said she considered Meg her family too. This shit is deeper than what people see. We're sisters. But then when Meg got shot by Lanes, Kelsey was the other woman in the car with them. Meg says that Kelsey betrayed her and that Kelsey and Lanes met up and turned the story around. She just really disappointed me and let me down. I would never let somebody like that drag my best friend. She went on a mental health retreat because she started having thoughts of unaliving herself. It was shortly after her home was broken into while she was in Saturday Night Live. She said, it was three days. Three days I did not get out the bed. I stayed under the covers and cried every day. She said she felt like, I would rather not live through this than to have to live with this. Meg said that while she was at the retreat, she got involved with various therapy methods and credits the mental health retreat with getting her where she is today. She also revealed that when Lane was sentenced, she was gathered at her home with her loved ones, and when he was found guilty, she burst out in tears. She says she exclaimed, thank you, God. She also revealed that there are people who are mad at me because I said what happened to me. But she says that despite it all, she's in a good place. I do feel like I'm getting to a place where I really don't care. For the first time since my mom was alive, I'm taking care of myself because I want to feel good. Despite her trying to put a positive spin on things, fans are either with her or against her and there seems to be no gray area in between. One person wrote, So she slept with Tori. Y'all think that gave him a license to shoot her? I'm confused. But others are saying, Meg lied on her dead mother that she ain't sleep with Tory Lanez. Now she wants to come out admitting she lied for a new documentary. Girl, once you get caught and lie like that, nothing else you got to say is credible. And imagine following your best friend's Twitter and seeing them tweet, I would have lied too, in reference to Meg Thee Stallion's lying about fucking her best friend's man on live TV. Watch who's in your circle. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think about Meg Thee Stallion lying to Gail King about Tory Lanez? Do you think he should get an appeal? Drop those thoughts down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.